Hello everyone, I'm Seth Rose and I serve in the House of Representatives and I just want to welcome everybody here. Today is really an amazing day for this community. Obviously we have a lot of roadways that are areas of need in Columbia, but we can certainly scratch this one off the list. And to me this isn't just a ribbon cutting for a hawk traffic signal that's about to be put into operation behind us, but also it is a, a signal, a um, a ribbon cutting for things to come for this stretch of Millwood Avenue from Gervais down to Gladden. Um, this has proven to be a deadly stretch of road. In the last four years, there's been three pedestrians that have been killed. And I say pedestrians, multiple pedestrians. And I truly believe that the improvement with this Hawk traffic signal, um, in addition, the over half a million dollars investment that's gonna come to this stretch of road behind me is gonna save lives. And there's a lot of people to thank um, I'd like to, to start also by, by thanking city staff. I see Robert Anderson in the back. He's never one to come to the front, but I can tell you he is an amazing employee, and I would call him a public servant. He works very, very hard. Um, so I want to thank Robert Anderson and city staff for all you do. Um, we have our city councilman here. We have Howard Duvall, Mo Bedora, the mayor, um, Steve Benjamins, also present. And um, I'd like to also thank DOT staff. There's a lot of people with DOT that are responsible for this. But I wanna say thank you to Lori Campbell, who's present here today, who helped with the study, and she's just been amazing. Uh, Tony Magwood, um, who's in the back from the DOT, who does an amazing job. Um, and uh, Rob Perry, we have Rob Perry here today. We'll hear from him briefly in a little bit. Um, but with that, we're gonna have a list of speakers. Um, as you know, we have the Hawk traffic signal that is gonna be put into operation, but the CTC board, which is um, a board that is appointed by the legislative delegation has allocated close to a half a million dollars for improvements that are to come. Um, we think those improvements, we believe they will, they will be become implemented um, in the spring of next year. They'll first go to city council um, for vetting and public information. Um, we'll have meetings, community meetings about what the community would like to see done um, based on the DOT plans for the improvements behind us. Um, but with that, I want to welcome the CTC Board Chairman, Mr. James Brown. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my, again, my name is James Brown. I'm Chairperson of the Richland County Transportation Commission. The commission consists of 12 members uh, appointed by the local legislative delegation. Our job is to look at the tax rebate that comes back to Richland County for road improvement projects. Normally, we get requests from different entities from the city of Columbia as well as the state, as well as uh, Richland County. This particular project came to us two months ago, asked us to actually uh, help with the project based on, on the fact that it's a safety issue. We brought it before the, com the committee, the committee looked at it. At first we had uh, certainly not concerns, but we had to try to put some money in place because our funds are limited, but after talking and hearing from the community, hearing from uh, the city and everyone involved in the project, we saw a need that we need to fund this project based on the nature of being a safety issue. So again, we appreciate uh, all that the rest of you all done in making sure this happened. But we just played a part in putting the funds in place, a half a million dollars to do the other portion of the project for this particular area. Thank you. Well, thank you, Representative Rose and uh, Mr. Brown and, and all of you who've uh, come here uh, to celebrate this quick action. I had the benefit of serving on the on the CTC uh, committee 20 years ago, uh, yeah. Mr. Brown. Uh, it's never acted this quickly before. Uh, this, this is a, uh, a rapid response uh, to an urgent need as we uh, work and speak every day at city council meetings about ways in which we can not only be safer, but how we can encourage pedestrian activity, how we can become a, more of a walking, biking community and it's very difficult to do when you have major thoroughfares uh, separating uh, key neighborhoods in our city. So making this investment is, is, um, is, is central uh, to our overall strategy of making the city more livable. I mean, if you may know, may not know, uh, that all of our community development block grant dollars that come to the city now are divided basically between only a handful of neighborhoods, four neighborhoods. This is one of those neighborhoods. Uh, that all of the funds that we're using uh, for facade redevelopment and, and enhancement uh, in the city uh, this year all comes to this neighborhood. We're focusing intently uh, on, on the housing uh, opportunities, making sure we have 
not only affordable housing, but, but, but transitional housing for folks in, in, in this neighborhood. So it's, it's a major uh, point of emphasis uh, for the people uh, at the city and, and for your leaders at city council. Uh, well, I obviously thank uh, Mr. Duval and Mr. Bedour uh, for their leadership, the rest of city council. Uh, Mr. Um, uh, McDowell couldn't, couldn't be here right now. He's dealing with an ailing uh, mother, so I know he'd be here. Uh, if he if he could be, so I should keep uh, his mother um, in your prayers. Uh, but we're here with you. We're here with you all the way. We're gonna keep following with not just the, uh, the leadership and in, in word, but also in deed. Thank you to all of you for your work, work and your leadership. Thank you for having us here today. As most have mentioned, this is a collaborative effort. And first and foremost, I want to thank everybody that helped make this happen, whether it be SCDOT or leadership from the commission, like Commissioner McLawhorn or Secretary of Transportation Hall, who's always challenging our engineers to find ways to improve safety, um, or the City of Columbia that has partnered with the, with the DOT as well as the CTC. So it, it, it takes a village, and uh, we moved really quickly because it was important. You know, most folks don't know what a hawk signal is. It's a high-intensity activated crosswalk. So that's what a hawk is, or some call it a pedestrian hybrid, hybrid beacon. Um, but it really, to the pedestrian, it's no different than any other crosswalk. You just press that button, and uh, it, it allows you to safely cross the road. For the motorists, you know, when you start to see that flashing yellow light, that's your warning that pedestrians are about to be entering the roadway. Um, once it turns solid yellow, uh, the, the motorist needs to prepare to stop, and once it's uh, solid red, um, that means pedestrians are going to be crossing this crosswalk. So the intent is to alert the motorists of all the pedestrians that will be crossing at this location. And why is that important here? You know, we've got, as you've seen behind us, we've got 21,000 cars a day that travel down this section of uh, Millwood Avenue. And we've had pedestrian fatalities, and it's our goal to reduce those any way possible. But like Representative Rose said, and uh, some of the council members, and the mayor, and, and the chairman of the CTC, this is just phase one. Uh, phase two will be to resurface this section roadway and add some additional improvements to, again, improve the safety of the pedestrians that traverse this section of roadway. Um, so again, I thank all the elected officials and appointed officials that made this happen, and I also thank the District 1 staff, Lori Campbell and, and Robert Dickinson, that they've really been trying everything they can to push the needle in improving safety in the City of Columbia. Thank you.